<laughs> All right, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Let me turn this one up. I can hear. Thank you, Mary. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you, all of you guys. I see that there's still an eyeball on Stephanie, Tammy. Hello, Grace. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get this party started. I am. Let's get it going. I'm going to share with you a little bit about the uh, Rose of Jericho. So the Rose of Jericho, in a Christian religion, the plant symbolizes the resurrection of Christ. It is, the size of it, it's like the womb of Mary, and that's what it represents. So the plant will bring blessings of Mother Mary and for the child to be born of the pregnant mother. And that is the awakening and the resurrection of the Rose of Jericho. It is used for, um, what is it used for? It is used for asking for prosperity, for wealth for love and we are heading into the season of love and the season of love on valentine's day is just around the corner so we are going to resurrect our rose of jericho bring it back to life and put it in a little dish but in the dish i have moon water and it's supposed to take four hours, four hours to awaken us. Grayson, do you want to help me pour the water? Oh, there was a prayer. Let me find the prayer. You're going to see if it works. All right, so many people use it to bring spell, bring spells to bring changes into their personal life, such as romance and income. Yay! Yay, I'm glad you could hear me, Mary. Um, the benefits are enormous. There's medical, therapeutic, religious practices. Um, it brings good luck into your home, and it removes negative energy and wrongness from your surroundings. The plant itself is a female, and it remains closed and disperses its seeds and produces its babies after each rain or whenever it gets wet. It can bring good luck. Use it against envy, evil eye, bad vibes, negativ negativism, um, and keep your bad luck away. And I was told that you can, when you do it on Thursdays, it's for prosperity. So we want to bring in happiness and prosperity. And so I have the crystals around it to help infuse it. All right. So I'm going to light a candle. Light our candles. Yes, darling. I'm not a scientist. Nope. You think candles are for scientists? I think it's to bring in. You're going to think, no, it'll be too dark. Oh, yeah, the candles are glowing. That's beautiful. Would you like to um, help me? Oh, no, now it's too dark. It's too dark. Right? For the camera. For the camera. 
All right. Obsidian. This side and this side. All right. So I was told to knock it off. Take off anything that is in there. And these can be used in your candles. It can be used in your bath. So these little pieces will be added. And if you didn't hear me before, because the audio wasn't working, I have crystals that are surrounding it. And then I also have our rose and um, Epsom salt bath that Grayson made. All this off, just to give it a couple of taps, get everything off of there. Clean that up. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Here's our prayer. Here's our prayer. Everybody take a deep breath in. Pull it in. Divine Rose of Jericho, blessings of our Lord Jesus Christ, we receive. You enclose the virtue of the power that has given you. Help me overcome the difficulties of life. Give me health, give me strength, give me happiness, love, peace in my home, luck in my business, and the ability to earn mon more money to meet all of my needs and more to meet my needs and the needs of others. Because when I flourish, I'm able to help others flourish. Amen, amen. All right, this is our moon water, the moon water that we did a ceremony many, many months ago. So I'm gonna put the moon water, I'm gonna put it right, right around here. So when I was researching about this, you do not want to use tap water. There is too many, too many additives in tap water and it can kill your rose of terra. So I'm gonna to have to put in enough water that it's gonna cover the roots and there's a root system down here and then the water once we have used it and infused it with the rebirth of the rose of jericho then we will use the moon water for cleansing um, for other spiritual work that I will be doing. All right. Absorbing it. Oh, she's already feeling heavier. Get her going. So it says it takes about four hours for her to, to open up and wake up. I will be I'll leave this on and leave it on mute, or maybe I could do, I don't know if I can do a, um, where it, the action speeds up. What is that called? Not slow motion, but. Holy super. Okay. on her roots. There we go, there we go. All right, now I'm going to put in our rose quartz. Our rose quartz is for love. Got four pieces of rose quartz that are going to be cleansed 
and charged up with all the goodness from the Rose Jericho. And then I also have Labradorite and Amethyst. You probably couldn't hear me earlier, what I was saying. So I am, I am a hoarder and I do not need to be collecting any more crystals. The crystals that I get and the crystals that I cleanse, these are now going to be my offering for sale. So today, the day my offering is that if you would like one rose quartz or a labradorite and an amethyst, you will receive it tucked in here. It's going to be charged for 24 hours until it opens up. Never done online sales before like this. So um, forgive me as I am learning the vernacular, learning how to do um, live sales. How fun is that? If anybody else has done that before, you are welcome to give me any tips and tricks. I welcome. I welcome love. I welcome information. This one is mine. I will put that in there too. Get that cleansed. I'm also going to, this is obsidian. And obsidian is, um, it attract, it's a grounding stone as well as attracting negativity. I'm gonna put that in there too. And my two stones, my two crystals, and crystals that I would love to get into your hands and into your home. All right, as she sits here, Do you need to go to the bathroom? No. Look, real quick. Where's your chair? Where's your chair? Thank you. Where's your chair? Where's your chair? Okay, we'll be done. I'll be back in a minute. All right. Okay. And some Palo Santo that I'm going to light and I'm going to And with that beautiful aroma. All right, there we go. All right. Cleanser. Cleanser. Each of the, the jars of beautiful, beautiful rose, salt bath. This is the act that should have been done prior to me going 
replacing everything. But, you know, that's one of the things that's great about crystals and, and learning how to work with them. Is that nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong. Everything that you do, as long as you set your intention for love and joy. Um, you can't do anything wrong. What is so fun? Okay. One more time, and I'll cleanse you. And if you have any um, crystals, bring in your crystal. Close the door, babe. Close the door. Because he's talking to someone right now. He'll help you in a minute. Because he's talking to someone. All right, he's going to answer. All right. I did one earlier today and there was a lot of smoke from that. So you can use that one, that video, to cleanse your crystals as well. So for 2022, it is my goal that every year, every year, every week, I bring and share with you a tool. Share with you a tool that you can use to bring in peace and love and whatever the whatever the month is every single month will have a theme so right now, right now we're we're releasing 2021 2021 is over and we're all in 2022 so my offering to you today is that with the rose of jericho water is opening up with the rose of jericho water the crystals that are within are, they're, they're for sale. They're for sale. So for a rose cord and our rose foot soap bath can be $22 or $20 and 22 cents because we're in the year of 2022. Okay. And that will include shipping. Okay, calm, calm down. What is going on? All right, he's trying to navigate this game. Um, so twenty dollars and twenty two cents for you to receive a rose soap foot bath that is filled with Reiki energy that was made by Grayson's beautiful hands, and we dried them out as well as the crystal, either one crystal or two little ones, okay? If you would like, if you would like your crystal wrapped so that you can wear it, whether you can wear it as a ring or wear it as a necklace or use it as a pendulum, we'll have a pendulum class too. He's doing a tour. It's going to be $10 more. So if you would like this wrap, wrap as a pendulum or as jewelry to wear, whether it be a ring, these little ones would be nice as a ring, or as a necklace, it'll be $10 more. He's doing a tour. A tour. He's doing a tour. Ten minutes, I'll be back. All right. We go closer. Close the door, please. Can you see it opening up? Beautiful. So excited to watch her bloom. All 
All right. All right, all right, all right. Thank you. Thank you for navigating this with me. Mary, you were awesome. Thank you for your help in getting me to be, that you could hear me. Way too many complications of things going wrong today. But what went right is that we showed up. We showed up. At any time, I could have said, you know what? Uh, uh, I'm out. Uh, time out. I, I'm not doing this. It's not happening correctly. But I showed up with my authentic self. This is me, Marlene Maddy. I am, I'm a supernatural. <laughs> Let me look over here where the camera lens is. My superhero powers is to pull, is to create a vortex, open up that energy to bring in your angels and your guides. So 2022, you are on fire. That is my goal is to flame on in 2022 and to find out what your goals are, what your ambitions are. What is your mile high pie in the sky? What are you, what, what are you wanting to bring in? What are you wanting to manifest? What is going on in your world that I can help you be able to move into action or move whatever doesn't serve you, clear all that out so you can step into your greatest self and to your purpose and into your passion. I have an amazing, amazing tool chest as well as a business background. And I've gone through this crazy spiritual awakening and I want to be able to help you so you don't have the pitfall and you can fast forward your life 10, 15, 20, 50 years and not have to go through the hurdles that I did. So if you're looking for a mentor, you're looking for a coach, you're looking for somebody to be able to help you release what is no longer serving you, help you give yourself grace help you love yourself more, help you know that the angels are there and they're answering your question because they send their flags out. They send signals all the time. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. They send signals out all the time. And it's just a matter if we're paying attention. Do we even know that it's happening? I had someone tell me the other day, oh, um, that stuff happens in threes to me. And it's like, oh, well, of course, because you're expecting something bad to happen. To you. What if, what if good stuff happened in three? What if you changed up here and you added some tools into your daily rituals that can help you step into life so, so much stronger, so much more grounded, um, so with so much more peace and happiness and love. That's what I'm here to help you. Your mission, your my mission is your vision. So what your vision is, is I want to be able to help you get there. I want you to help you, whether you're clearing out space because Valentine's Day is next month, that you're bringing in the love of your life. Whether it's bringing in a new job, whether it's bringing in a baby into your life, whether, what are you doing? We could do it as simple as a parking space. Maybe you need a parking space and you're like, you know what? I'm always parking far away. I, I don't know how to manifest. Manifesting 101 is my jam. And I'd love to be able to help you make it your jelly and get into the flow with that. Let's look what's happening down here. Opening up. Can you see her opening up? Everything that's happening on the table. Sorry for my shakiness. Right. 
All right, I wanna thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me today for this resurrection of the Rose of Jericho. I'm going to put my other camera on this so it can do uh, a time-lapse, that's what it's called, do a time-lapse as it is opening up. Again, all of the crystals that are surrounding, besides my two, are for sale. For $20.22, you can get a charged crystal and a foot soaking salt bath. I love you. Um, Darren, Darren probably did. He's outside. All right. He's outside, babe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being with us right here, right now. Uh, we are as imperfect as it comes, which says that I am perfect. I am perfect. So I'm excited to share with you every single week a new tool, a new tool, whether that tool be a tool for uh, a metaphysical tool, a tool to bring in your angels and your guides to bring peace and love into your heart, a releasing tool, a grounding tool, a chakra tool, or maybe even a business tool to be able to help you take yourself from where you're at to where you want to go. Wherever your purpose, what is your purpose? What is your divine purpose to be here? We all have one. Got to look at the camera. Not used to it being on the side. So I'm going to put the time lapse on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Let me see if there are any questions. Oh, Mary, God bless you. God is blessing me big time, big time, big time, big time. So I appreciate you coming on. If you are watching this on the replay, put hashtag replay. Look at what you do again. Opening right up. All right, I'll be sharing pictures. It's, they say it takes about four hours for her to wake up. She's going to open up fully. I forgot the coins. I forgot the coins. They said to take coins out of your purse. I actually grabbed some coins from Grayson's area, Grayson's room. So I want to drop some of his coins in here. And that will be another thing that will come in your in your jar will be a coin, a coin for good luck for prosperity. No. And I promise in the future, when I say the start time that I'm going to start, we will start at that time. Okay, yeah. promises are meant to be broken, and I don't like to break promises. To use an odd number, odds always fits me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven coins. Eleven coins and a couple dollar bills. Because they. Hey, 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 hey. I will help you with your navigation of that game. There's no need for that. I'm gonna put three $1 bills because we started at three o'clock-ish. So it's be 3.33, so I'll put three $1 bills, 11 coins, and we will put this into the water. Here we go. Okay, let's go down. Sorry, sorry. To make you 
These are going to get all tucked in. Grayson, stop, stop, stop. All right, there we go. I'm gonna let that open up and I will be sharing, sharing it as we move along. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Blessings and abundance to you. Thank you, thank you for being present with me. All right, and.